I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. I thought it is about time, guys, that I film a summer clean with me. I mean, not to keep mentioning it, I feel like an absolute broken record at this point in time, but we've not really had a summer here in the UK. So I haven't really felt like doing a summer clean because it doesn't feel like a summer clean. Normally, on my summer clean with me, I'm in like shorts and a little top and it's warm and it's not. I'm in gym wear, you know, um, but anyway, I know you like seeing new and updated clean with me's and I did go out and buy a few new products for this clean with me just so we can switch things up and it's always nice to try new cleaning products too. And not to mention, my house is in a sorry state at the moment, it just needs a good clean and there's nothing better than deep cleaning the house, sitting down, it all smells amazing. Is it just me or is it just me? I wish my house could be like that every single day, but honestly, two days later, there's a fly going around as well because the back door's open, so excuse that. But yeah, two days later, I feel like I'm just back to square one again. But anyway, before we do get into today's video, I do have a sponsor, so a massive thank you to HelloFresh for kindly sponsoring this part of the video. If you guys have been here a while now, you will know that I absolutely love HelloFresh. Honestly, if you haven't already tried them, please, I encourage you to get a box and just try it and see how you get on because genuinely whenever we cook hello fresh it's just so enjoyable like the food is so tasty it really does take the stress out of what to cook each night because i don't know about you guys but i never know what to cook so it's just hassle free no wastage i always tend to be one of these shoppers that just ends up buying loads of food and then before i know it the veg has gone out of date or you know i forgot to put it in the freezer also not to mention because someone did actually comment this on one of my videos the other day although it is a meal subscription service you can pause your subscription at any time so what me and mitchell do is if for any reason we don't want it one week for example we go on a holiday or mitchell might be working away um or just simply we might look at the menu that week and not really fancy anything you can just pause it so that's how me and mitchell work our hello fresh subscription um we just pause the weeks that doesn't suit us and then continue it the weeks it does um, and like I say as well they have different menus every single week so it's always mixed up there's a lot of variety in things you can choose from but anyway this week worked well for us having HelloFresh again because we're actually in London on Friday night and then come back Saturday day so we thought we could have the HelloFresh box delivered on Wednesday and that means we can have HelloFresh Wednesday Thursday and then also Saturday night when we're back so we haven't got to think about what to cook and I've actually picked some really nice dishes I've got some pulled pork tacos which is actually what I'm going to make tonight and they oh my god they look unreal they look so good um and then i've also got a saturday night dinner classic in my opinion which is a rump steak palms and rosemary roasters creamy mustard sauce and salad and then oh my god you guys know i never <laughs> order hello fresh without selecting one of their risotto dishes their risottos are so good and it's a personal favorite for me um so yeah this one's the bacon and mushroom with baby spinach and cheese i'm not sure if i have tried this um oh and also do you know the risottos a lot of them are always like the calorie smart ones so they're under 600 calories but anyway guys i'm going to crack on cooking dinner i do actually have a discount code for hello fresh which is laura m 60 hf i'm going to pop it on screen and i'm also going to pop the qr code on screen so you can simply just go on your camera on your phone and scan it and then click and purchase it like that if you would like to try. Um, but yeah, that discount code is actually going to get you 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight, which is an insane deal. I feel like that's one of the best HelloFresh deals I've ever had. So yeah, definitely take advantage, guys. Let me know if you do sign up and try and what you think. Because yeah, as you know, I just can't rave about them enough. Okay, I feel like this is all the cleaning products, but um, they felt like a lot more. I'm not sure how many Mitchells put away because they were in a nice bag ready for me to do a haul. But um, yeah, if Mitchell sees bags lying around with things in, he yeah just has to put things away annoyingly. That's why I normally leave everything in my car. Um, I feel like he's used one of the products that I wanted to use with you guys already, which was like a sink um, refresher. So yeah, anyway. Um, so I picked up, I tried to go with like summer stuff. I was 
obviously with it being a summer theme of May. So we just got one of these um, like rim blocky things for the toilet. Um, I absolutely love these bathroom air fresheners. I mean, admittedly they don't like smell for that long, but when they do first go in, they smell unreal. Um, we've also got some of these fizz and fresh toilet bowl like cleaner things. Um, some tropical summer. Um, oh, that sounds so nice. Bergamot, orange flower, coconut, again, for the toilet. French soap. Oh, I was actually so disappointed with this, guys, because I have already sprayed this because we've run out of, um, like, Joe's spray for your sides. Um, I absolutely love the French soap spray, but this one's got la lavender in. Don't get me wrong, it still smells absolutely unreal. But, yeah, I just kind of like the OG one of this. It's pricey as well. This was $2.99, but, yeah, if you know, you know. Um, then I just picked up a new, like, scrub thingy got the yellow one to go with you know summer theme um i also picked up this for the washing machine because i haven't cleaned the washing machine in a while that was like a pound i think so we grabbed that also got this which sounds very summery the surf passion bloom disinfectant surf was quite expensive compared to um fabulosa and astonish this was like two pounds something but if you want affordable like forget sephora nowadays i mean i love sephora but the price is ridiculous um and i'll be honest Honest. there's only a couple of scents i really like in the zaflora like these i prefer so much more so if you like that clean fresh laundry smell trust me you are going to love these so the first one i really like from fabulosa is cotton fresh this is amazing it literally is what it says on the tin cotton fresh it smells amazing and i also found um the multi-purpose bicarb cleaner in cotton fresh as well so i think this is for like floors and stuff so i'm going to use that to clean the floor um then if you want more of like a summery tropical scent this also smells unreal by astonish it's called paradise so yeah i did stock up on these because i can never ever find them but obviously found them in the range oh i actually got this from my grandma it's just a cup cleaner you put um these like crystal things in a cup hot water leave them so do you know if you've got like stained cups stained teaspoons this is really good um oh and i also got some um fruity tropical summery scented clean and wipes which are wet. Uh, oh, and I also got these, which I forgot to show, Egyptian cotton antibacterial wipes. Again, these smell so fresh, pretty similar to the cotton, <laughs> I can't speak, cotton fresh fabulosa. Um, so yeah, I feel like the house is going to smell unreal. Let's Get on, because time is not of the essence. So switching things up, I actually thought I would start upstairs today and start in the bathroom because the bathroom was in a sorry state. I actually did a little before because, you know, I want to be real and just show you the actual state the bathroom does get in because, like anything, dirt builds up. I mean, it's quite hard to see on camera. You can't actually see the grime like you can in real life, but yeah. It was dirty, so it's in need of a real good scrub. Here is my bathroom cleaning box. And we're going to go straight in with the pink stuff. I absolutely love the pink stuff and a scrub daddy. Like, that combination for me is just amazing. I don't know what is in the pink stuff, but it just seems to get rid of any marks. It's amazing. It's also really good on, like, your grout, in between your tiles. So, yeah, I'm just giving that a good scrub and then just rinsing it off with a clean minky. I don't actually think this is a minky. I think it's an elbow grease minky. But, yeah, it was pink, so I picked it up. Then just spraying the tap with some lime scale remover. I do leave this on, but obviously because everything's sped up and in fast motion, it might not appear that I do that. Um, and then I'm just simply cleaning down the soap dispenser and also the toothbrush holder because does anyone else's toothbrush holder just end up getting like so much grime and stuff in the bottom like over the course of a week? Yeah, ours gets disgusting. So I'm just giving that a good wipe down. Then moving on to the bathroom side, so I'm just taking all of the objects off so we can give it a good deep for a clean. So for this I'm using the Pink Stuff Bathroom Cleaner, again really really like this product, just seems to be really good at just tackling any stains. Um, and it also smells quite fresh too. 
and then of course I'm just using a minky just to rinse that all down. I'm then also just going to take some windoline and clean the window. I sometimes forget to do this and honestly it's crazy how much dirt gets on that window so yeah don't forget to do your windows guys. Then I'm just taking a fresh air freshener and popping that in the corner so it smells lovely and then I'm just putting all of the objects back on and of course giving the little um, mirror a clean because this gets so grubby when I'm doing my makeup and just touching it. Um, right now I'm moving on to the toilet. I picked up some of these Astonish Fizz and Fresh so I've just popped one of those down and then also just some like toilet gel and then getting my toilet brush and just giving it a good old scrub. Then I'm taking some of these Dettol wipes and um, these were in like a summer fresh limited edition kind of scent. They actually smell really nice. I'm normally like typically a kind of like clean cotton linen kind of person when it comes to my scents that I like. But surprisingly, these were really, really nice. So yeah, I'm just cleaning all the toilet down with some of these wipes. And then after I'd let the fizz thing and the toilet gel do its thing, um, it was time to flush and that was all nice and sparkling clean. Then I'm just removing the objects from either side of the toilet um, just so I can get down there and do you know what I mean give it a good clean because look at all that dust look at the dust that collects either side of your toilet it's crazy then I've just emptied the bin um freshened it up with some of that surf like Sephora thing it smells so good and then just put a little bin liner in then we're moving on to the bath so for the bath I always like to go back to my OG favorite bathroom cleaning product which is the flash the blue spray i think it's just called flash bathroom spray to be honest and i absolutely love it i do prefer the liquid but i can never find the liquid um so yeah anyway i've just sprayed all that for now i'm just letting it kind of set before i will wipe it down um and i'm just wiping the what's this called bathroom rack i've done that with my scrub daddy and the pink stuff again because that always marks up with it being white um and then again as you can see I've just took the scrub daddy, scrubbing all of the bath before rinsing it down again with my minky cloth. shower so I have actually just like lime scaled all of the oh my god the words gone out of my my head what is the word you can see what I'm doing but all of that right it gets like grubby and moldy it's disgusting so yeah I always use my lime scale remover on that and then again the scrub daddy just to make sure it's spotless and doesn't go rusty and disgusted so yeah that is what I'm doing there and then again I'm just using that scrub daddy and just trying to go like down the sides and in the cracks where you can't always get access to and just give it a good old scrub and moving on to this thingy magic that's on the bottom of the glass screen these get disgusting don't they so i did put some mold and mildew mildew is that what you call it mildew <laughs> the mold and mildew spray whatever it's called um and i did end up just leaving this in the bath to soak i'd probably advise in bleach just pop it in your bath put some bleach in and just let it soak for a good few hours because yeah it's really hard to get like the, the mold that like builds up in it or whatever it is I don't even know if it is mold but yeah anyway it does the job and it's spotless after then as you can see I am doing my glass screen so again for this just use the pink stuff and the scrub daddy because it just works a treat and gets all the soap scum off and then I just buff it up with some glass spray and a glass cloth as well and yeah sparkling then just putting everything back where it belongs because it's all nice and clean now and then we move on to the floor so for the floor if I'm perfectly honest I'll hoover and then I just get a floor wipe and just clean it on my hands and knees myself because honestly I just prefer it I just feel like this way you know you're applying a little bit more pressure than when you use them like speed mops and things like that um so yeah that's all I do and that's that clean then moving on to my handrail just using my windoline because this just makes it look sparkling finish I'm just popping the fresh towel on spraying some of my like cotton spray from Primark which smells unreal and then putting a fresh toilet roll on and job done 
Okay, moving on to the bedroom. To be fair, there's not too much to do in the bedroom. So I, yeah, I don't ever mind cleaning the bedrooms. Um, but first things first, I'm just doing the bedside table. Give that a little clean down. And then it's fresh sheet day. Oh my goodness. Is there not just anything better than having fresh sheets? I absolutely love it. Love getting to bed when the sheets just smell so good. So putting the bottom sheet on first. And then I do actually have some new bed linen. So exciting. So yeah, I'm just taking that straight out of the packet and putting it on. I know some people are really funny and like to wash it first. But yeah, I'm not one of them people. So <laughs> there you go. The way, if anyone is wondering where this bed set is from, it's B&M. And it was actually only £25 for a king size which I think is decent. I think that's really good value. So yeah, it looks absolutely stunning on. Um, so yeah, I tackled that on my own and managed to do it. <laughs> Isn't it just so much effort trying to put the um, sheet on on your own? But anyway, there we are. And I'm just sprucing that up. And yeah, job done. Spraying it down with the fresh cotton spray from Primark. Then doing Mitchell's bedside. Then I'm just cleaning down the windowsill because again this gets absolutely covered in dust and cat hairs because they always seem to sit there um, before just finishing off with a good old hoover. Oh, then I also found my shark attachment that I thought I'd lost it to be fair and yeah this is brilliant for doing under the radiator. Okay, next we're moving on to the living room. So I'm doing a bit of a deeper clean in the living room today because I actually already did the kitchen off camera. So we're not doing a kitchen clean today. Um, but starting on the fireplace, I'm just dusting down with the Mr. Sheen polish. <laughs> And then I'm just taking my dust start, dusting over the coffee table before again, just using my Windeline glass spray just to spray that all down. And then I'm taking my Mr. Sheen polish again and just doing these sides. You may have noticed we've actually switched up the living room. Um, I actually really prefer it this way, I feel like. It's probably not the best to sit and watch TV, but it just looks so much more spacious. Obviously, you can access these like cupboards under the stairs better. Um, yeah i don't know let me know what you think right now we're moving on to the sofa so i'm just like basically using this brush on the sofa because with this sofa loads of fluff seems to like stick to it so yeah i just gonna like brush it down and get all like the little floofy bits off um and then i just like to spritz it with my clean cotton spray so it smells super fresh and amazing Next, we're moving on to this little corner of the living room. So I'm just moving the mirror out of the way. And then I'm just going to take some of like that tropical flora. Well, it's actually surf, but you know what I mean? It's like disinfectant. It smells so good. And yeah, I've just used that to clean the floor, clean the skirting boards. And oh my goodness, it smells so good. Once that area is all clean, so like it's all clean behind, um, I'm just popping the mirror back and again just going to take my Windeline glass spray and yeah, just give the mirror a nice clean down. Then just moving on to the other sofa, I'm pretty much just doing the exact same thing. So taking my little brush, spritzing it with the clean cotton spray and yeah, just trying to get all the little bits off and just like plumping the sofa up as well. 
and then just cleaning this little corner as well um we kind of just put all of our blankets here we love a blanket we just love a blanket to lay on we love a blanket just to get cozy at night so yeah i'm just kind of like wiping the floor area down there folding them up putting them back nice and neatly and then i'm just gonna fold one up and put it on this what is this like a footstool um and then just clean this little tray that we put all the remotes in and just put that on there all nice Next, just moving on to the staircase. This is something I used to do, but I feel like I never really used to show this in a clean with me. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking my little fluffy duster and cleaning all in between the stairs because, again, this just gets filthy. Then I'm also just taking a wipe and just wiping over it as well. Next, it's time to hoover, and as Mitchell was home from work, um, I asked him if he'd help me hoover under the sofas. I feel like whenever he's not here and I'm cleaning, it's so hard to do this on my own. Um, so yeah, it's perfect when he's here. I always try and get him to do it. But yeah, I don't do this enough. It's something I need to do more. But yeah, it's just hard when you're on your own, isn't it? To try and clean under your sofas and move them out yourself. If I told you how I feel Would you be here still? And anyway, that brings us to the end of the clean week, guys. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out HelloFresh. I will leave all the details for it in the description box if you do want to sign up and get yourself a box to try. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. I could die my way